I honestly, I I never thought the Heat were going to win. Yeah, I wanted the Heat to win, but I never thought they had. Well, that shot. that's a topic we can kind of dive into. There was this big debate in the company Slack. Oh, the Hoopers won. This finals is so great. This finals wasn't even entertaining, and the finals ratings were down. But that's I don't really care about that. It's more so like the Heat never felt like they were in it. They were an overachieving eight seed that's really well coached, and I think everybody knew within five minutes of game one that Denver was going to steamroll them. And that's exactly what happened. Yeah. And to be honest with you, even when like the heat, they won game two, it was kind of like, it felt like they didn't even deserve to win that game. I wasn't going to say that that it was like, they didn't deserve to win. I I was going to say it's, it was kind of like, like it took like tooth and nail for you to win. (laughs) Um, It kind of actually reminded me, I don't, uh, when the Sixers played the Lakers, in the finals in like 2000, was it 2004, 2003 or whenever it was? I'm bad with years. Sounds about right. Um, it was when Iverson stepped over Tyron Lue, right? Yeah. Like when you looked at it, the Sixers that, that year, like I kind of like, I wanted the Sixers to win obviously, but I, I remember thinking like, okay, the Lakers were blowing out every single team in order to get to the finals. And then the Sixers barely beat them in that first game. And it took everything Iverson had just to keep them competitive in that and game. And then it went way downhill. And, yeah, then the Lakers just steamrolled the, the Sixers for the rest of the series. So, like, that's how I felt, you know, at yeah. the start of this season. At the start of this series, I mean. Um, and, I, to, too, though, I feel like, though, one of the things that kind of, like, got on my nerves with the, the, the Nuggets, like, the entire postseason, is, like, people were acting like they were, like, this super underdog. Well... I so I guess it's hard for me to say because I didn't think they were going to win. I really I really did not think like heading into the playoffs. I really didn't think they had a shot. It was mostly because I didn't think the role players were good enough. Fucking Jokic is it's just, just a tank, dude. I don't know how many games you watch, but it feels like he never misses. Like he never misses. He's also the best playmaker on the floor. And oh, by the way, he grabs 15 rebounds every fucking game. I don't know, man. I just, like, I felt like people were like, oh, the, like, again, you said, like, you felt like the Nuggets just never had a shot. I never felt like that. When you look at, like, their roster, like, one, obviously they have Jokic, who's a two-time MVP. Like, how how is the two-time MVP a fucking underdog? And then, like, look at look at their other guys. Like, a lot of their fucking players were top recruits coming out of high school and college. Well, Aaron but Gordon. But they're the underdogs? Like, Aaron Gordon I kind of liked, but the rest of their bench, like – Jeff Green was their backup center. Like, are you really going to get away with that? And I like Jeff Green. Jeff Green was a Celtic. I was a fan of Jeff Green, but, like, he was literally their backup five. I just thought they had a lot of question marks beyond Jokic, and they were getting beat when he wasn't on the floor. Like, basically any series, they were negative point differential when he wasn't out there, so. Like I said, I I, I don't – I just thought, like, thinking that calling them underdogs, like, in the playoffs, like, I didn't – I didn't agree with that. Like, I, I think they had enough talent. Like, Michael Porter is a good player. Like, they had guys. Like it's... Well, Michael Porter, he his shot selection is crazy. Like, he, he, he likes to let that thing fly, man. It doesn't yeah, even matter I mean, if he's open. He just, he just fucking lets it rip. If it goes in, it goes in. Like, I like, – like like, so, how many – like, and again, wrestling – wrestling, basketball, different sports, but, like – how many times do you hear like you're when you were getting coached coming up? Oh, you never reach back, you know, re- never reach behind you. But if you fucking reach back and chin whip the guy and pin him, your coach isn't that coming off the mat like, oh, that was a what the fuck did you reach back, you fucking moron? Yeah, like yeah. same thing with the NBA. Like if you take a contested three, like no one's gonna be like, oh, you shouldn't have fucking shot that if it went in. Yeah, if you miss, you're an asshole. But if you fucking goes in, it's like, oh, what a fucking shot. Yeah, that was uh, that was Porter a lot of nights. <laughs> that was Porter a lot of nights. But I still I still think Phoenix could have beat him if they had kept Bridges. They took it to six. Aiton was fucking terrible, and Chris Paul was either hurt or a negative when he was out there. Like, had they have kept Bridges, I really think they they might have won. If they had like maybe yeah. another another guy, but good for Denver. I don't yeah, hate can Denver. Can I say this? Yeah. Can I say this? Like I I, I pretty much I, I felt like the Heat weren't gonna win as soon as we got to the finals. But can I also say like I, I really 
didn't want either team to win. Like, if this finals could have somehow ended in a mutual fucking loss, I would have been happy with it. And it, it's not really any... So, one, because I'm starting to not like Jimmy Butler. I really? really? I like Jimmy Butler. I, I, I use... I. I like watching Jimmy Butler play basketball. He's starting to piss me off with some of the other stuff, though. What's what's the other stuff? Like, his personality is starting to rub me the wrong way. I like his personality. At least he fucking like, cares. Somebody, I don't know. He's starting to get on my nerves. Like, pieces of shit like there's Durant. a couple things with Jimmy Butler that get on my nerves. Um, the other reason, the reason why I also wanted the Nuggets to lose is because I don't mind Jokic. I, 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 I like Jokic. Jokic. My issue is with Jokic fans. Okay. Explain. So, like, I, I wanted them – I wanted Jokic to lose just so I could I could watch them hurt. That's how I kind of felt about it. Okay. I like Jokic. Uh, my, my issue with Jimmy Butler is, one, Jimmy Butler is the biggest fucking hold-me-back guy, the biggest fake fucking tough guy in the NBA. Uh, I don't know about all that. I think that's LeBron. No, 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 no. Watch. If you really pay attention to Jimmy Butler – he never goes after anybody bigger than him. And if he does, if he does, there's always someone between them. Why? It's the, you, it's you the can, NBA. There's clips, there's clips on YouTube. You could fucking look it up right now. He is the biggest hold me back guy yeah, in the it's NBA. It's the NBA. Who's tough in the NBA? Like, who's actually tough in the NBA? Well, Jokic. <laughs> <laughs> like, who's actually tough in the NBA? Matt, I, look. I mean, Matthew Kachuk played game four of the Stanley Cup Finals with a broken fucking sternum. There ain't one basketball player going out there and playing. Not one. Well, I mean, that's just basketball. My point <laughs> yeah, is. that's what I'm saying. But my point is, is like, look, it, it's it's kind of like the John Moran thing. Dude, you, 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 grew up in the, you grew up in the suburbs. Your parents have a no, really good marriage. Like, home. why are you toting a gun? Was- Jimmy Butler. If you're gonna be, if you're gonna be like, oh, I'm, I'm like a crazy dude, and I'm trying to fight everybody, then fight it. Be, don't talk about it. Be about it. Don't be the hold me back guy. I'm just, I'm just saying. Like, that, and there's, there's, the there, and and there's clips of, there's clips of him like arguing with like Embiid, but he won't do it when it's him and Embiid face to face. It's. Embiid, Tyler, like Embiid. He, Tyler Heroes in the way. So now Jimmy's gonna start talking he shit. Likes Embiid. He likes Embiid. Now, there's a couple clips. I think I think or, it, or or and this is a good one because it, it's prevalent to the NBA Finals. I think last he hated year, Simmons. I think last he liked year him. when they got into it with Denver, when they got into it with Denver, Jimmy Butler wasn't talking shit next to the Nuggets bench. No, he was all the way on the other side of the court. Well, that I'm just think, saying, like if you're gonna be, if you're gonna be that tough guy that that oh I'm trying to fight, be that guy. Don't talk about it. Be about the, it. The whole don't don't stuff. talk shit from the other side of the court. You're not Steph Curry hitting a fucking full four, full court shot. Go get in somebody's face. Like the is it's the one I don't know who is it Montrez Harrell. I feel like when he was on the Clippers, I think and he's Montrez like Harrell running across the court trying to get at LeBron. I think Montrez Harrell's kind of tough. Okay, I mean, but I'm just saying like how many like, how many guys are actually like, tough in the NBA? That I, that was a guy that was a guy who was trying to fight and yeah. people trying to hold him back like. Jimmy Butler, oh, you're lucky he's holding me back. Dude, it's Tyler Hero holding you back. It's you're like, telling me you can't get through Tyler Hero? It's like, <laughs> Harold, Isaiah Stewart tried to fight LeBron, and then it's like a blank canvas. I don't know. I'm just saying. That <laughs> I Jimmy Butler is starting to rub me the wrong way because he's the biggest fucking hold-me-back guy in the NBA. And then, not to mention, too, like I'm still kind of mad at him for that whole Tobias Harris over me thing. He has a point. Jimmy. No, it was, it was never Tobias Harris over Jimmy Butler, though. Yeah. They, look, th- should they have kept Jimmy Butler? Yes, they yeah. should have. But why are you throwing Tobias under the bus? They First of all, they offered Jimmy Butler a contract. He turned it down. Jimmy, you said no. Well, I mean. And, and it wasn't. He hated wasn't Ben Simmons Tobias, and he hated Brown. To- he hated Ben well, Simmons. That's and he That's hated the Brown. thing. It was never Tobias over Jimmy. It was Brett Brown and yeah. fucking Ben Simmons he over hated Jimmy. Him. He Why hated are him. you throwing Tobias under the bus? Because he's worse player. <laughs> yeah, he's the. But again, that goes back to Jimmy being the biggest fucking hold me back guy in the league. You're going after the wrong fucking guy. It wasn't Tobias. It was fucking Brett Brown. 
And you know that, Jimmy. You know it. And you said no to the contract. So why are you throwing other people under the bus when you're the one that said no? And they, the guy they had nothing to fucking do with the situation. That's he, why he's starting to piss me off. Like, he probably would have like, paid, he probably paid though, if they had gotten rid of Simmons and Brown. Yeah, he would have. But again, <laughs> if you said no, it wasn't Tobias over you, Jimmy. It was you saying no. That's what it was. And then my my issue with Jokic, it, it started after the Sixers got eliminated. Well, there's Jokic fans. I should say the Jokic fans. I like Jokic, don't like his fan base. Um, it started after the Sixers got eliminated when fucking everybody was like, oh, you know, my, my MVP would never get eliminated. Well, yes, he would because he fucking did it twice. Well, he's gotten and, eliminated more than twice. Well, I mean, this is the they, were saying speci- they were saying specifically like Embiid shouldn't have won MVP because he got eliminated in the uh, the second round. It's a regular season award. Right. If anything, they should have been thanking the voters for saying, hey, like if I was if I was a Jokic fan, I'd be like, thank you for not voting him MVP. Thank you. If that put like 5% extra juice on his shoulder for the playoffs, thank you. My point is, is like they started talking shit about Embiid, who was literally playing with a fucking torn ligament in his knee. Because I don't, I don't know if you know that. Even though tech, it's hurt. called a, it's called a, a a sprain, but a grade two sprain in in your like MCL, LCL, PC, whatever the fuck he had, it it's it that's a torn ligament. And He's I know hurt. because I know it because I to, I I've sprained my MCL twice, and that's when I found out that a sprain in your ligament is a fucking tear. So. Like, I, I just, again, I, I can't deal with his fan base. But I like Jokic. I'm glad he won the championship. He deserved it. Better than LeBron won it. And the ultimate troll job by Michael Malone. What do you mean? You mean so, what, he, what he talked about at the parade? When, yeah, when LeBron threw a little hissy fit and said, well, I'll retire, I'll retire. And, uh... Michael Malone was being interviewed and he basically trolled LeBron being like, guys, I have an announcement. I'm thinking about retiring. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. How about that though? The fucking finals MVP trophy got fucking stolen. Yeah. Then hang on to it. What do you like? What do you do with that though? Like you can't fucking sell it because then everybody knows that you're the fucking guy that stole it. Keep it. I mean, fuck, what's it going to do for you? Nothing. Like, why, why would you want somebody else's, like, like I, maybe, like, as sports memorabilia, the guy passes away, and it's like, okay, he's like, oh, this is part of sports history. But, like, while he's fucking alive, like, and you, it's not like you can show it off to people. Because I guarantee, like, if Trey, if you stole the fucking trophy, and I came over to your house, and be like, oh, yeah, this is Jokic's fucking finals. I'm, I'm snitching. I'm sorry. I'm like. I wouldn't blame hey, you. You got to come get this guy. He got your, you got your trophy, Jokic. I wouldn't blame you. Trophies and medal and shit, they don't do anything for me. That's my point. Yeah. Like, it's like the fucking people that pay hundreds of thousands of dollars to fucking own Super Bowl rings. Like, Crazy. like. What? Why? Crazy. Now, if, on it the was, fucking team. if it was mine, like if I was on, like if I was like in the front office and shit, then yeah, I'll, I'll rock it. But that's my point. Like yeah. if you were some, like you have to have somehow been affiliated with that team. Yeah. Like I don't care if you were selling fucking concessions yeah. at Lincoln Financial Field and they won the fucking Super Bowl. Okay. Well, you have like some sort of attachment to that. Like yeah. they, they can't function if you're not there selling the fucking popcorn and shit so okay yeah you want a super bowl ring go fucking get one it it's the guys that are like oh i bought fucking i bought carson wentz's super bowl ring and i spent a 100 million thousand dollars on it like, fucking why <laughs> i'm with you on that um anything else before we get to the the hockey cup on the nba finals uh no, because then I'm just going to talk about the Celtics, and I don't need to. Oh, you don't want to? want to talk about how the Celtics got an unfair advantage against the Sixers uh, in oh, Game man. Eight or Game Seven? I mean, Game Eight. Yeah, my bad. <laughs> what was the unfair advantage? Literally, the ref, like one oh, of the referees, no. 
was literally a Celtics fan. Uh, it, it was an open Cel- like openly a Celtics fan. It, and I'm pretty sure he's being investigated right now too by the league. No, he's being suspended for having a burner or something. I think that's he has like a Twitter burner that he's being. Yeah, like but for. but not the actual game. That that's probably not the official reason. That's probably the NBA doesn't want to get caught with another fuck. What's the guy's name? Who was Tim the ref that got? Yeah, De- they don't want another Jeff Donaghy, so they're like, yeah. oh, it's because of his fucking burner account. I'm just saying, if you like, that would be like me getting the ref a fucking Eagles game <laughs> against the Cowboys. Like that's like that's what it's like. Oh, fucking Dak Prescott, twelve yard penalty for holding every fucking down, like. How's the quarterback fucking holding? 